First of all, Kakar and Justin, they are just hands down. They've, they've made me feel like family as soon as I got there. And campus, yet again, felt like home. It's only less than an hour away, so why not? And the girls just treated me like family, so it was just a good fit overall. Did you talk to Coach Malone about where they want you to play and what kind of role? Uh, yeah, actually, she said that I would pray, probably play more of the three to four, just kind of spread out the floor and drive it in. <laughs> You've been playing basketball a long time. What's your first memories of basketball? Oh God, probably my dad yelling at me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, probably whenever fifth grade we first got to practice and I decided that this is what's going to be my go-to and that I enjoyed it. You're going to have to, as all players do, improve to go play at the college level. What are you going to be working on the most to get ready for college basketball? Uh, well, definitely it starts in the weight room. That's where I have to get physically stronger and that just I gotta improve on my ball handling. They're a lot quicker up there, and it's just gonna take a lot of adjustment time to get there. You played a lot of basketball for the Jeeps as well. What did it mean to be a part of uh, the Jeep Girls basketball program? Yeah, it's everything that I could ask for. I mean, even though it didn't go our way at the end, it's just I wouldn't have changed the last four years for the world. And you played in front of a lot of great fans, and uh, uh, Jeep Nation really supports their teams, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yes, I couldn't agree more. I mean, our community, it's just like family. Everybody knows each other. Everybody supports each other. and Couldn't be even more happier than, you know, just being a part of it.